viewers of this YouTube video. My name is Chris, and I'm playing Red Dead 2, like everyone else probably, but let's see, I, fa I just found this question mark in the bar at Valentine, and I'm looking around for him, see if we can find this guy. Didn't see him anywhere downstairs. Oh, hello. Hmm. You know, despite this being an area that I need to search, more often than not, I feel like they are... The people in these strangers... Bubbles of activity search area. You know, they are often near the center of the question mark. But I didn't see him down on the floor, so... I have no idea where he could be. Hop, hop, and away. Uh, my room. There is no excuse. I don't see this guy. Is he outside? Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, I love these guys. I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash. No man alive can thrash me. <laughs> what was your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Cook. Easy. You. Maybe, but not me. I know. Punch us both as hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw, and I'll be left standing. The night and the name. Good idea. <clears throat> Hit me, then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap. First time we saw these guys was, uh, they wanted me to shoot, uh, bottles off of their heads. Uh... That was what they got in their heads. <laughs> oh, jeez. <clears throat> okay. Let's see about fast travel. That's my horse. I call it fast travel, but it's, uh, you know, train or coach or whatever. <clears throat> Jezebel. Okay, my girl. That's my girl. I had another horse called King. That uh but uh he 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 died. He died. I was trying to rob a train and 
He got a little too close to it, and the train, like, knocked him upside the head, I guess, and he died. It sucked. Station. Are there any bounties? I do not! Yay! Train ticket. Um. Right, right now I'm at the camp near St. Dennis. <coughs> Ooh, wow. Hmm. Choo choo. Okay. Mister, how do you do? I'm doing okay. How about yourself? Oh, good. How's your family? Inter train. Oh, I guess that was for the other train. I thought I was talking about the one that stopped there. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> we got a question mark. We got. Josiah. Okay. Got a stranger. I think we're gonna go to uh, Josiah today. <clears throat> Here, worthy. Where's Jezebel? Hope you don't get hit by a train. Uh. This train needs to stop. Oh, dual shock slow. On. Hold on, I gotta plug that in. Okay. Well, let's try not to run anybody over. That has caused me more problems than it should have in this game. I have run over too many people by accident with my freaking horse. <clears throat> there was uh, one time where I was riding on my horse and a random passerby, this is out near uh, Strawberry, a random passerby was doing the whole thing hey stranger help me out here and I'm like oh okay I was in cinematic mode at the time and so I tried to turn off the road and turn off cinematic mode so I didn't quite so I was having a hard time seeing the guy 
and accidentally ran him over and killed him. Which, ooh, strangers. Anyway, the, uh, the guy who I ran over, he died, and this other guy on a horse came riding around the corner, and so a witness saw me kill him, so I tried to chase him down, but I couldn't find my freaking horse, so I just shot the guy. And then another, at that time, no one else was around, but another witness happened to see me, which was ridiculous, because there was literally no one around. And then, but then this other guy just pops up, and now I have to uh, chase him down. So I kill him, because I'm just sick of it at this point. But somehow, another guy sees me, and I end up uh, chasing, or getting the law get, is chasing after me. So I end up evading all of them. Okay, so a couple of uh, few minutes pass uh, IRL, and I'm like, oh, there's a legendary deer over here. I can go hunt that. That'll be fun. And, dude, go through the door. I, I believe in you. Oh, my God. Fine. Um, so, there we go. So I decide to uh, hunt this deer. The legendary deer, or elk, or whatever. And while I'm tracking it, bounty hunters show up. And they try to go after me, and I'm like, oh, screw that. I don't want to get in jail for like $100. I'm not paying that fine or whatever. So I kill all them, and then I can't hunt the thing because apparently it got scared off by the noise. So I have to come back several hours after playing around. And, nope, no door. And then, oh, that's a, oh, that's cool. Anyway, and then I finally get around to coming back and the, I'm tracking the animal, another posse shows up. So at this point, I'm just like, all right, fine, screw it, take me in. So I surrendered through them. And, <laughs> this is ridiculous. And um, after that, I'm in jail, trying to serve out my sentence or whatever, get my bounty down. My gang freaking breaks in and breaks me out, and I'm like, no, you jerk-offs! Ah. So, it was all for nothing. At that point, I'm just like, I give up. I give up on this animal. <laughs> eh, anywho, where? Oh yeah, I was, uh, not roof jumping, not Batman. This is not Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Trying to play Assassin's Creed. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's find this thing. Hmm. Too modern. Look at these idiots. Excuse me, Mr. Chatterman. Couldn't you paint some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. Well, that explains the decadence of the top and tops. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here. In her delicate. Hey, wait, wait. Is that your mom? Why would you be showing up to that man? That's my mom. As nude as the day she was born. Stop looking at my husband's butt. Stop looking at my mom. Well, maybe she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. <laughs> Break it up. Hey, 
Where's my hat? Which one's my hat? Oh, that's my hat, but I want that hat. <laughs> Pick up hat. Yeah, I'm all fancy now. Yeah, I'll take some money. They probably have a couple more bucks than the average roaming goon. Oh, or not. Really? Not a thing. None of these fancy pants, highfalutin society folk have any dollars. God. Oh. That's brandy. Ooh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, wait a minute. This is the kind of place you want to loot. Oh, only two dollars? Seriously? Ugh. Can't take any more cigars. I feel like the city should be easier to find money. Go find Josiah. I can take him. No, I know that. I know how that's going to turn out. <clears throat> oh. Careful. I got a fancy hat. I can go where I want. Good morning, sir. <clears throat> there he is. Ah, there you are, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. What? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi riverboat looking like this. Can't? Not if you want to fit in so well, no one realizes you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. What are you talking about? That suit does not fit for the purpose at hand. Come along, dear boy, come along. I wonder what he would say if I came in wearing uh, the most expensive clothes in the game. Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Will you find all my inventory in the catalog here? Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. 
It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. Huh. Snazzy. Are there different types of suits? Don't look so. <clears throat> okay, let's do it. Do it to it. In it to win it. Wait, where'd my hat go? Oh. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might. But perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Huh? Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, uh, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. Ah, oh, getting a haircut now. <clears throat> Get some Paul made. This unlikely fellow has made himself a Yeah, I don't have any facial hair to face. Extra clean shaven. Wow. Okay. It'll do. Wait, actually, I changed my mind. Come on, let's get to the box. I have arranged some transportation. And the pomade. Yeah, slick. Back. Let's see, left parted. Left parted fade. Ooh, sexy. Actually, no. That's better. Mid part. Kind of goofy looking. Right parted. Let's do that. Oh wait, swept back. We're gonna do that. Bald. <laughs> nice. That's funny, but we're not gonna do that. Oh wait, is my pomade is that? Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. You left me. You turkey? Out of the fate. Out of the way. Come on. Oh, move it. Move it. Alright. We're getting fancy smancy. I don't know. George! To the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Once around the block, Gregory. Sitting behind him. How does he know 
friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? Everything. And what money am I paying with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips oh. will be waiting for you. Oh, good. We could have walked up here or ridden our horses and then walked. We didn't need a carriage. No one's seeing us here. Oh, no way, man. At least I should be able to keep one of my fancy guns on me. No. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Hal Strauss. He's kind of fun, a bit slimy. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables are wait. I'll go find myself to change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self doubt in me. Huh. People are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. <laughs> Strauss knows the hand that will be dealt while his instructions while playing poker. Okay. <coughs> have a chair here with your name on it, sir. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Cavan, sir. I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Desmond Klein. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, okay gentlemen, gentlemen, let's play. Let's play. Hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? What? Wait, Wait, not Desmond Bly, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> what am I doing? Strauss is signaling to fold. Okay. Oh, did you? I really wanted to go all in on that first one, even though he was saying no.
Yeah. Just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Oh, man. <laughs> Actually, it's a pair of queens. I'll have you know. Woo! Big money. Shit. Shit. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Don't bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning... Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Roitlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Really, man. I just now play as you <coughs> So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation heads up in New Hanover. Can I not look at stress? I am 100% all in. Oh, two kings? Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Huh. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Barricade. Very good, but not good enough. What? Oh, shit. shit. Should have looked at Strauss. Oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blind. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. Woo! God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now. Forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please cash these out for me. I started last Last poker game I played? Last three in-game days. But I cleaned out everyone. Oh hey, Javier! How you doing? You know, if he asked the other guard to escort us up, this entire plan would have failed. <laughs> we live in strange times. First, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but you know, I've got my own little law giver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Is it pretty? You can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. Yeah, you can have two. My gun now, boy. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. Idiot, huh? Oh, I wanted to disarm him. Wait, how'd Javier die? Hey. I wanted to try disarming him. <clears throat> Maybe shoot him in the leg if I if I can. All right, one more time. Oh, I don't have any gear. Of course, take your time. Mm. 
Smack! What's up? Take his gun, Arthur. Okay. Guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. Oh, I shot the gun. Maybe I have to shoot him in the hand. Okay, one more try, and if it doesn't work, I'll just pop him. Ice this fool! Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. Of course, take your time. Papers. Oh, Javier, you do it so good. Take his gun, Arthur. Way to smack him upside the head. He did. He did. No. Okay, good. I wanted to be honorable. <clears throat> what? Sick. <clears throat> Big money. <clears throat> and if we're not, we can just jump off the boat and swim. Obviously, we're gonna swim. Should have shot him in the head. I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> in the time of my life, you boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. I <laughs> look, there's your friend. I don't have any friends. I only have allies. Oh! Oh shit. I'm trying to 
jump off the boat or something. Let's get out of here, Hunter. I'm working on it. I got a ways to swim. Oh, my nice suit. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Yeah, apparently it's worth a bunch of uh, Swiss, a uh, Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. <laughs> all right, come on, let's get out of here. That was fun. I kind of wish the poker game let, went on for a bit longer. All right, got my fancy hat. Five, seven, fifty. Well, that was fun. I enjoyed that. Well, I hope you enjoyed my first gameplay video. I'm sure the upcoming ones will be a lot smoother and whatnot. All right, well, I um, hope y'all enjoyed it. Have fun, viewer, playing, watching. Whatever. Bye.